Now, Stanley, I understand you're a Trump supporter. Yes, I certainly am. And I'm trying to understand your relationship with Donald Trump. Well, the first relationship, I believe, is that he's not a politician. And he's out of the loop of all the dirty politicians that are in politics, both Democrat and Republican. And he just says what he does, what he says he's going to do. And it's, whatever he's doing right now is is good for the country, in my opinion. Can you elaborate? And it's, whatever he's doing right now is is good for the country, in my opinion. Can you elaborate? Well, the first thing is the tax cuts, which is good for everybody, even though. The other side says it's only for the 90 top 1%, but it definitely is not. It's for all companies and corporations and people like myself, not myself because I'm unemployed, I'm uh, retired right now, but I've heard a lot of stories of people getting more money, getting bonuses, and that's one of the things. The, uh, one of the other things is the, uh, the uh, uh, foreign affairs. He's one of the few presidents, because he's not a politician, doesn't care what people say about him. He's doing things for the country, which should have been done years ago, like the imbalance in trade, which the Chinese say they're not imbalanced, but they are. They've been tariffing, tariffing us for ages, and we've been losing out on that country, plus all the European countries also. So there are two of the main things. The other thing, the other main thing is uh, the judges, judges of uh, the Supreme Court. Now, in my opinion, the society as a whole has gone way too left. I don't mind, I don't mind uh, uh, liberals. Liberals are fine. Liberals and conservatives are fine. But when you get to the far left wing, you're changing this country into a socialistic society, which doesn't work. It hasn't worked anywhere. Socialism is a Ponzi scheme. Scheme you take from the rich and give to the poor. Finally, eventually, the rich have nothing more to give and it just collapses. So he's doing a lot for the, to stand up these countries and to tell them that we want fair trade. Uh, and that makes it good for everybody because we've, our country has lost the steel industry, has lost the industrial industry and other things that have been going away to other countries. Now he's bringing it back, in my opinion, slowly. I mean, it's not gonna happen overnight. Might even take a couple of years, but uh, in my opinion, he's bringing all this back to our country, having people, other countries, reinvesting in our economy that it hasn't had before. And um, what do you base your your perception of him on? Well, first of all, you look at the economy. There's statistics and there's numbers out there from all the reputable agencies that says we have the lowest unemployment ever, lowest. Uh, black unemployment ever and this uh, and uh, the labor labor industry statistics says that our job rate the joblessness is at the lowest it's ever been people are making more money and there are even lack of jobs now because we have once a lot of people that aren't trained enough to uh, fill the jobs that we have and what about the way he's going about doing well, it the things he says well He's a person, as I said earlier, that he's not a politician. He's a businessman, and he's an honest businessman, and he says what he says. Tweeting, I'm not thrilled with a lot of the tweeting, but that's what people like about him. He's the t One reason why he has to tweet so much is because he's being treated very unfairly by the media. Now, you can say no, he's not, but uh, if you look at the, n the number of minutes that I've, that I've heard statistically, spent on him as opposed to spent on other uh, uh, candidates in the past has been far, far greater and in the negative. Anything he does or says, the left is against. Even before he picked the nomination for the Supreme Court judge just recently, they had signs out with this blank line on it, which they just filled in. It didn't matter who he picked or what he picked, they were going to be against it. So he's not a politician. He says what he wants to say. He's not afraid to. Because he's not a politician trying for another, he might go for another term, but it doesn't matter to him. He has his money, he has his fame, he doesn't need it. He Does a woman have a right to an abortion? Uh, in certain circumstances. What circumstances would that be? Uh, if it's uh, the fetus is in danger or the woman's in danger, uh, rape, incest. Now, um, I'm not the one to say that they can or cannot. I'm just going by a, a religious 
approach to where abortion is not is not uh, fr is frowned upon, and it depends where you think inception occurs. Inception occurs when the sperm meets the egg. You have mitosis or whatever it's called, and they multiply and you have a baby. Why should you take that life of that baby? Now, if they want to put up for adoption or do whatever they want to do with it, that's fine. But I think they should. They sh it should be banned within the first couple of weeks, if I had to give it some numbers. But I think the baby is a living person, a living fetus. It has legs, it has feet, it has heart at a certain point, and it should not be aborted. How about those those um, infants and those babies that are coming into the United States with their parents? Should they be separated from their parents? Well, first, that's a big item now is, is uh, immigration. Immigration, to me, is illegal. They're well, not... I'm asking about the separation of children from their parents. Well, they... Should... Uh, first of all, that started under other presidents. It wasn't started under this president of, uh, it started under, I think, Obama or, or earlier than him. Separation is caused by the parents illegally coming in and say they have to go to court because it's illegal and the parents, who wants their kid to go into prison with them? So they separated them. That's not the best sort of thing, but it's also not, not uh, realistic to have them be in prison with their parents. Second of all, there's a lot of adults coming over with they're finding now through DNA testing that those kids are not even their kids. They're kids that they took or, t or went with them or otherwise to get them into this country using a false tense. They're doing DNA testing now and they're finding a lot of kids that aren't with their parents so they should not even be in here. Let's talk about guns. Um, should people be able to own assault rifles? Yes. Well, it's, it's your definition of assault rifle. An AK-47 is not an assault rifle. It's a hunting rifle. It's a rifle that is legally owned. If you have trained in it and you are proficient in it and you're shooting animals and stuff like that, it's a perfectly legal. It's not as people as there's no definition really for assault rifle. You can call anything an assault something. It's it's not. They already banned years ago machine guns and stuff like that. This is a semi-automatic gun. It's not automatic. You have to keep pressing the lever to kill, to uh, shoot people, to shoot somebody. Do you have any concern about the turnover in Trump's administration? No, I think Trump is very particular and is a hard person to get along with. And some people don't agree with him. And those people should not be there. I mean, if you disagree with him, who do you, well, you don't want him in your cabinet. So it's his prerogative. Other presidents, I'm sure, which had not been, uh, I'm sure, had not been looked into, but I'm sure there is a lot of presidents have had many turnovers in uh, regulations. But it's his, it's his prerogative. People don't like what he's doing; they don't like him. Exchange him. Get somebody that you, that's on your side. Um, do you think? Um, do you care what other countries think about how other countries perceive the United States? Not in particular. I mean, we enjoy relationship relationship with many countries, with with the uh, NATO alliance. He's done a lot that people don't realize. I mean, though they do, and they're not admitting it that he's done a lot with the NATO alliance of increasing. We've been we put all the we put all the bills, most of it, for all these battles that have gone on throughout the country against Russia and our NATO alliances, and they should pay their fair share, and they have said they would, and he's the only president since far that has been able to use his his gut and his failings and his personality to get these people on board. Do you think the Russians interfered with the 2016 election? I think they tried. I think they failed. I They're trying with all different countries, not just our country, but they have failed. They, The Chinese are the more important country that we have to worry about interfering. Which hasn't been talked about as much, but they're the more they're more sophisticated than the Russians are. The Russian economy is, right now is very low. It's like the state of New York or one country, state in our country, uh, all as they uh, produce. So I don't think Russia is a big fear. I mean, it should be feared, but uh, Vladimir Putin, 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 is not a nice guy. But we should, but we should have relationships with them. We definitely should talk to them, keep them at bay. As the saying goes, know your enemies better. Uh, what's the saying? <laughs> Have your friends closer, but your enemies even closer, or something like that. So we should be in touch with them, and we are. And Do you I, think um, President Trump should disclose his tax returns? No, he has no reason to disclose his tax returns. That's it was never 
a legal standing to decide a presidency of tax returns. People have, other presidents have offered their tax returns and that's fine, that's okay. But I think one of the things with, with, with uh, uh, President uh, Trump is the other ones. Pre Trump is a businessman and he has tax returns that are way, way bigger and more complicated than any other president we've had. Because other presidents are just, are just uh, business people, are just congressmen and, and uh, don't have any businesses. So his is gonna be a very, very complicated uh, uh, apparatus. And to, di to dissect that, they'd pick anything out of it. The, the way the media is today, if they see one irregularity in there that has nothing to do with anything, they're gonna pick it apart and go crazy. So I don't think he has to or should have to reach, or any president, I don't care if any president does not have to show their tax returns. It's a personal business. You... He, he, by the way, he does for, fill out a gigantic form that every president does, show him all the relationships, and he's done that. Do you believe that courts should be independent of the other branches of government? Oh, definitely, yeah. We have three branches of the government, and they all should be separated and independent, and yes, definitely. And uh, so what do you think of the Mueller investigation? That's a separate branch of government. Well, I think right now it's, start, it's starting to be, it might have started out to be a good investigation, but now just as Trump puts it, a, a witch hunt. They've gone way off their their base. Their you know the uh, the the head of the FBI, what a, I forget what his name is, never put a limit on the investigation, which it should have been. There should have been a limit to what he was investigating. Now he's investigating people that weren't even invest that weren't even in the in the clip in the Trump administration. They were investigated years and years ago from other people. Right now, it's a waste of money, waste of time, and it's a, it's a, it's a hunt, witch hunt that should end as soon as possible because they have not found one evidence of collusion. Though collusion is not a crime, it is not a crime collusion, and it's it didn't find any relationship between Trump and anybody in the Russian organization. Uh, do you think um, a handful of years ago you said that? President Reagan was the best president ever. Do you think Donald Trump is the best president ever now? Well, I don't know best, but he's the one that's getting the most done right now. Uh, Reagan, I wasn't as involved in, in politics then as I am now, so I can't say much. I just know that he picked, he was a uh, conservative, he picked conservative judges. He hoped to he ended the Cold War, which is a fantastic thing, and he uh, he was for the for the uh, conservative values. And where do you get your news from? What are your sources? Oh, well, most of my news comes from Fox News. I do listen to CNN. I do listen to MSNBC, and some of my and some conservative radio stations I do listen to. But I do listen to all sorts of of uh, news plus. On online, I, online services I uh, look at every day. Um, is there anything that Donald Trump is doing that gives you pause for concern? Actually, no. No, I don't think so. He's he's his own person. He's got his own personality. Everybody in the in the before in the uh, left movement hates him because. He's not the normal person. He's not your normal politician. That's what we voted for, and that's what we got. And do I have permission to publish this video and let your thoughts be known to the world? Yes, you do.